Bonjour Genie Engineers! Welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to cover a vertical curve problem. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we're giving a sag vertical curve. So we have a G1, which is minus 3.4%. And then we have a gray G2, which is 4.2%. So make sure you keep the negative. Um, the length from PVC to PVT is 300 feet. And we need to calculate the station and the elevation at the lowest point. So, and we were giving the elevation and the station at PVI. So note guys that the, uh, station and the elevation at the lowest point it's not going to be at pvi a lot of people would think that's where it's going to be uh it's going to be somewhere here now also keep in mind that here we have a sag vertical curve and that's why we have a lowest point as for if you're dealing with the crest curve where which is something similar to what we did in the previous video so you crest curve looks something like this so you'll have plus g1 and then you will have minus g2 and uh, usually we have the highest point. And then for, this is for crest. And for sag, we usually deal with lowest points. Okay, so let's start solving this problem. So let's first write the equation for the station at the lowest point. So this is equal to the station at PVC plus XN. So, this is the station at PVC, and we're going to add XM, which is the distance, the horizontal distance, to the minimum or maximum elevation on the curve. So for our case, it's going to be the minimum uh, elevation because we have a sag curve. So let's first calculate the station at PVC. So we have station at PVC is equal to the station at PVI minus L over two. So if you haven't watched my previous video where I provide all the necessary equations that you have to remember, make sure you check it out. I will leave the link somewhere above here. You can just click on that and it will take you directly to the video. It's important because these equations are not provided to you on the reference handbook and you will be asked these type of questions. So make sure you remember them and the best way to do that is by doing a lot of problems and you will start remembering them. So the station at PVI is given to us as uh, 4,450 minus the length, which is 300 feet divided by two. So this will give you an answer of 4,300. Or you can write it in terms of station, which is 43 plus 00. zero. So the next thing we're going to calculate is xn. So if you look at the equations here, the equation is provided to us. So we have g1 times l divided by g1 minus g2. Now g1 is minus 3.4. So don't forget the negative. This is in percentage times L, which is 3 station, divided by G1, which is again minus 3.4. Then we have minus, and then we have G2, which is 4.2. Now note here that we used percentage for the gray, so make sure your length is in station. If you use the length in feet, then just take the grade and divide it by 100. So I prefer using this because it's just faster, but either way, you'll get the same answer. And I explained this more in depth in one of the previous videos. I will leave the link above uh, in case you haven't checked it out. I recommend that you do. Okay, so if you plug in this, you should get an answer of 1.34 station. So if we go back to the first equation, we can just plug in our numbers. So we have the station at the lowest point is equal to the station at PVC which was 4,300 plus 134. So if you plug in this answer, you will get 4,434, which is also equals to 
44 plus 34 stations. So that is your answer. Okay, now let's solve for the elevation at the lowest point. So elevation at the lowest point. So to calculate this, we're going to use the same equation as we used in the previous problem, which is this equation, the curve elevation. So as I mentioned before, whenever you want to find the elevation at lowest point or at a given station, we use this formula right here. So let's write it down. So let's do Y and let's call it L, which stands for lowest, is equal to PVC plus G1 times X, M plus G2 minus G1 divided by 2L times XM squared. So note here, guys, that I, I didn't use X. I used XM because that's the... Um, the horizontal distance that we need to use for our case, for the lowest point. So make sure you use XM. Okay, so we have XM, we have L, we have all the grades. Only thing we don't have is the elevation at PVC. So we need to calculate this. So Y PVC is equal to the elevation at PVI. So it's right here. So we're trying to find this elevation. We're going to do minus G1 times L over 2. So these equations are not on the reference handbook. So make sure you guys remember them in case you're trying to look for it on, on here. It's not really given to you. So just write them down and remember it. So elevation at PVI was given to us as 265 0.45 feet minus G1 is minus 3.4. So don't forget the negative. It's important that you don't forget this. Times L, which is 3 station divided by 2. So note here that I didn't use 300 feet because I kept my percentage. If you want to use 300 feet, you have to divide this one by 100. So if you plug in this, you should get an answer of 270.55 feet. So that's your elevation. Now we're going to go back to this equation and solve for the elevation at the lowest point. So I have elevation at PVC, which is 270.55 plus the G1, which we said it's minus 3.4. Note here again, I kept the negative times XM, which is 1.34 station, that's the one we calculated earlier, plus G2, which is 4.2, minus, minus 3.4, don't forget the negative for G1, and then um, you divide this by 2 times L, which is 3 station, now this whole term is multiplied by 1.34 squared. So note here guys that I used station here, but I also kept percentage here and the same thing all throughout the equation. So we got station, station, and then here is percentage. Okay, so if you plug in these numbers in your calculator, you will get an answer of 268.3. So that is your elevation at your the lowest point. So note here, if you guys look at the station that we calculated for PVC, it was equal to 43, right? That was the station. Now at PVI is 44 plus 50, and the lowest point elevation was 44.34. So it's somewhere around here. So that is the uh, station at the lowest point, which is 44 plus 34. See, as I mentioned earlier, it's never really at PVI. It's always somewhere close to it or near it. Now, the elevation at this point, it's uh, 268.3. Note that it is higher than the elevation at PVI. However, the elevation at PVC, it's higher than the elevation at the lowest point. Here, the elevation let me write it down, was equal to 270.55.
and the elevation at this point or at the lowest point was 268. So it's good to just try to make sense of these numbers so that way you'll have a better understanding of the problems. Don't forget guys to do these problems with me as you go. The best way to learn something is by doing it. And remember guys, a problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.